Hello everyone, so I'm super, super excited for this review today. And this is a trick that when it came out, I directly went to purchase it um, because it's something that I found amazing because I love movies. So this was kind of something I really wanted to add into my uh, performance. And it was also something that kind of reminded me of something I had when I was younger and I used to play with my parents. So I really wanted to try this out and that's Cinemental by Nicola Mavresi. So what, how much does it cost? It's $35.95 US. You can buy it from Vanishing Ink, uh, Penguin Magic, I think also Hocus Pocus and uh, other shops have it. I know my local shops don't carry it. So take that in mind if ever you want to look at your local shop. Maybe they have it or maybe they don't. So that's up to you. So what is the routine? I'll go quick through of the routine. It's basically a two prediction routine. The first one, the person cuts the deck, looks at the movie, keeps it on his chest, puts the rest in his pocket. And then you're all you're looking away this entire time. And then they shuffle the cards that they had on their chest and you turn your head away and with a small procedure, you do have to do a small procedure, you're able to guess the movie that they're merely thinking of. So that's from a shuffle deck of cards. So you guess the movie. The second routine is as you reassemble the what's in their pocket and what was in your hand when you do the process, uh, you tell them, look, deal the cards face up, deal, 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 they stop anywhere you want. And you had a prediction from the beginning that completely predicts where they stop that. And it's completely accurate every single time. So that's the routine. That's the price. That's where you can get it. So now what do you get? You get this deck of cards um, of, mo of movie cards, which looks quite like a, a deck that you would get in, um, you know, at your local Walmart. If there's, you know, a small game or an extension an, an extension to a certain game that wants to add like a movie edition. Um, this is what you'd get. And this is exactly something that I had when I was younger. And I used to play a game with my parents. We had decks of cards like this with movies, kids movies, classical movies, um, and TV shows. And we would play games with cards like this kind of, you know, charades kind, kind of to like, you know, kind of a game of charades with, if for example, we drew a card like Jaws, you know, we try to reenact the car like Jaws and, you know, the other people have to guess. So, you know, this for me is something that's easily introducible because I know for some it was kind of hard to include this into their routine. But for someone like me that's even had something like this growing up, I think that it's fun that I could like simulate a game kind of with my spectator regarding movies. So... That's regarding one issue that some people had. That's how I'm going to show it. So if you have something similar when you were growing up, that could be really fun for you. Or you could just take my idea and say it happened to you as well. And I'll also show you the cards. They are USPCC printed. And this is the back of the cards. They look really nice. There's no markings or anything on the cards. So if you thought that's something, there's no mark. So this is what they look like from the back. And this is what they look like from the front. They're really simple cards. So, you know, with simple images of the movies. And you get a full deck of them. So that's how the cards look. They're really good quality. So you shouldn't worry about that. These are probably going to last you a long, long time. So now let's get into some other things that I know some people are worried about, which is memorization. Uh, let me tell you. I got, I was able to perform this trick in five minutes because I'm someone that, like I told you, loves movies, knows every single movie that's included in this deck. I know every single one of them. So for me, the memorization isn't something that's hard because I already know every single movie that's here. Um... So for me, it was quite simple. If you don't, it's going to take a little bit of work, but they do include a, a crib card. I think I'm allowed to say that. I think that's not exposing anything, but they do include a crib card for you to help you out in the first phase. The second phase is automatic as long as you have your prediction or you can write it on the fly. Um, you're good with that. So you're good regarding any work done. You basically do nothing. 
So that's requiring the work and memorization. So if you don't know any of these movies, it's probably going to take you a little bit of time, maybe like 30 minutes to an hour. If you already know most of the movies, probably going to take you between 10 to 30 minutes. And if you know all of them like me, it's probably going to take you between 5 and 10 minutes to get this down. Especially since you have the help of the crib, it's pretty easy. So that's regarding the memorization. Another thing I saw is people complaining that this is it takes long to reset because you do have to reset it every performance. I can reset this whole deck in probably 30 seconds. Honestly, I don't even know why people complain so much. This is basically reassembling the deck and doing one small thing and it's back in motion like it's really not hard for me to reset this like it's super easy i saw some people tell them and you know they can't reset it um from table to table but there's not an effect that you do table to table because the second phase is always going to be the same movie yes it's always going to be the same movie in the second phase so this is not something that you're going to do table to table i'm sorry I know for a lot of people that's a turn off, but you know, you could always do this for a group of people. Or if you see that there's a table that really appreciates your magic, you know, there's always, you know, when you have you, when you go to a wedding or a corporate event or something, there's always a group of people that you can actually see that they're so, they're having so much fun watching you do your stuff that, you know, it's worth pulling out this and doing this trick because you know they're going to enjoy and they're going to have such a great time. You know, it's worth doing this and not doing it at another table because you clearly know that these people are the people that are going to enjoy the most. So for me, it's not a problem, especially you could do this on kind of stage parlor. This would work as well. So just take that in mind. So it's easily to set up for me. I'll say 30 seconds to a minute max. Even if you're completely, completely lost, it's going to take max a minute. But know that you're probably not going to want to perform this from table to table. So, you know, I just gather everything and do it at home. So, yeah. Uh, so now that I've covered all that, um, I also saw some people on internet, you know, compare it with other products. And they were having a hard time to, you know, without exposing the method to compare it to another products. And... This, if you want to compare it to another product, there was a product called Hotel that came out a few years ago that I also own. I forgot who the creator is. I'm sorry. It was Hotel and it basically was the same thing. So you had a prediction and you had, it's basically the exact copy pasted routine that this offers, but with hotel cards. So with uh, guest cards from hotels. So... If ever you own that effect and you forgot that you own it, you know, go back to that and you could probably work out how this works. So, you know, a lot of people told me that my reviews drag a little bit, but I think I've covered everything. So I'm not going to repeat myself. I told you guys the price. I, I showed you the quality of it. I told you what you get. Um... I told you about the memorization. I told you about the reset. I told you about the repeatability. I told you about the difficulty. I think I've told you guys everything. So I'm trying to cut my reviews a little bit shorter. So that's what I have to say about it. And this for me, I know I've, uh, you know, been talking to you guys about what a 10 is for me. And for me, this is a 10 because this not only satisfies my love for magic, but satisfies my love for movies. And I think that sharing my love of two things that I love so much with the spectator is just going to make an amazing trick overall. And I'm, I'm going to have fun to perform this because it's a fun thing to perform. So for me, this is a, a 10 on 10 product. It's, it's not expensive. It's good quality. Uh, it's fun to perform. It's going to fry your audience. They're going to have fun while they're doing it because it's movies. Everyone likes movies. So it's going to be extremely fun. And for me, this is a 10. I'm going to perform this. This goes directly into my repertoire, into my close-up case. It will directly slide into the case. I know it takes the um, it takes a space of a full deck, but I honestly do not mind. So for me, this is a 10. If you have any questions on the product, I think that I've covered everything as best as I could to give you the most information possible. I really appreciate everyone with uh, the likes and follows in this past three weeks. I've gained 
almost 80 subscribers and i'm so thankful that everyone is enjoying this, these reviews i know that i'm not i don't have any fancy editing or anything because i don't really have um, a macbook to do that you know i only have a uh, my phone and my ipad so i can't really do those crazy edits and stuff so even though i don't have all that and my videos are pretty bland i really appreciate everyone watching i hope you guys like subscribe and look forward to my other reviews thank you very much i hope you guys look into this this is a really great product and see you guys in the next video peace bye